happy Sabbath! My name is Jessica Lopez, and I would like to welcome you to the Apopka Seventh-day Adventist Church, where our mission here is to extend the ministry of Christ to our community with hope and wholeness. This week, the offering emphasis is for Adventist Radio Ministries. Do you know that 93% of Americans listen to radio every week, while 88% watch television? This makes radio the leading media, even more than television. The Voice of Prophecy and La Voz de la Esperanza use radio to proclaim the everlasting gospel of Christ. They are leading people to accept Jesus as their personal savior. Please give liberally to reach people through radio. Mark your gift on an offering envelope and place it in the little baskets when the children come by or in the box out in the lobby. The cash collected is for children and youth ministries. And don't forget to support our building fund. We're getting closer every day. Looking for a great deal, a win-win deal? I've got news for you. This Sunday from 9 a.m. until noon, you can get your car washed for only five bucks, $5. The Adventure Club is sponsoring a car wash fundraiser, and they would love to wash your dirty car. The charge is just $5, but uh, you can, of course, give them more, since it's a way for them to raise funds for their club activities. It's the best deal in town. Here's some more information we all need to know. time to talk about mental health. We have now discovered that beyond a doubt, the mind has an enormous impact on the body. Our thoughts, our emotions, our attitudes and behaviors can affect us for good or ill. It is now time to get down to practicalities and apply them. And so we begin a whole new series on mental health here at the Apopka Church under the TCI Initiative. We look forward to seeing you on Sabbath, September 17th at 4 to 6 p.m. We will begin our journey into understanding mental health. Let's begin. I hope to see you then. Now, let's take a look at a bit of our past and also our present here at Apopka to see how God has been leading every step of the way.
let's see if Jack has anything to report from the building zone. This week in the building zone, there have been a lot of workers. They've taken down all of the scaffolding on the east and north sides of the new church. The stucco there is complete and the green edging of the roof is now in place. The large windows in the front of the church have been covered with plastic for now until the glass is installed just to keep the rain out. Inside, lots of details are still going on. Finishing up the air conditioning ducts, sealing off the back of the church where the AC equipment is hidden behind a panel and making it soon airtight, watertight, everything tight. Won't be long until the entire facility will be dried in. That's all for this week. There's lots more information available on the online and printed bulletins. If you missed a prayer meeting or sermon, those are also available on our website and on our YouTube channel. Have a restful Sabbath. God bless.